何もあんたらに意見しようってわけじゃないんだ。あげるよきっとなんとかするから約束するえっとこれまで、えー、この作品は、えー、ワイルドアームズ、えー、1から3までの、えー、ストーリーと「So far in the series we have made four games Wild Arms 1 through 3 and Alter Code F which is a summary of Wild Arms 1, 2 and 3 Wild Arms 4 is a whole new world in terms of gameplay and look and feel I think this game will be accepted as a completely new Wild Arms The game setting is still a Fall Gaia, but it takes place in a post war era. There are no troops roaming the country. The story starts from a time when everyone begins to wonder how they can revitalize a land ruined by war. Although the war is over, there is a military group called Brionac. They are trying to conquer the land. Each member of Brionac has a unique ability, such as the ability to control space and the ability to read minds, etc. In this game, all the main characters are boys and girls, but they are not the ones who fought in the war. It is actually quite a heavy theme of how those children, who were born after the war ended, will grow up. The main character is a boy named Jude. He was born after the war had ended. He grew up in a situation where he didn't know anything about the war or the outside world because he has grown up in a shelter. Later, during the process of the adventures, he learns that the outside world was completely destroyed by war. And throughout the game, we learn how he grows up, how he came to this adventure, and more. He is a rather pure, honest, and straightforward boy. However, an incident reveals that Jude can use the forbidden weapon called Arm, used as a weapon of mass destruction during the war. The heroine of the story is called Yuli, and she doesn't know anything about the war either. She is a girl who has been isolated by adults who have repeated various experiments with bioweapons during the wartime. These are bad adults who rule the post war world. These adults are using her as a bioweapon even though the war is supposed to be over. Jude joins Yuli and fights to protect her. I still won't give up. Then there's an outlaw traveler just like in every Wild Arms game. This time he's a young man called Arnaud. There's also a king's swordswoman named Raquel. They join the company, and the adventures of these four characters make up the story in this game. When entering the fighting mode, seven hexes are displayed on the screen, and the fighting begins with main characters and enemy characters being arranged randomly within those hexes. While conventional strategy RPGs use squares and hexes that can only hold one character each, we have completely eliminated the limitation. We created a unique ability which allows players to either move multiple characters into a single hex or keep them separate. 
The more characters they place in one hex, the more attacks they can provide at once, just like in a combination attack. Also, they can recover all of their characters at the same time, since the magic is cast on the entire hex unit. On the other hand, there's an advantage to keeping your characters separate because it makes it harder for enemies to attack them. So whether players decide to position characters together or separately becomes critical. Throughout the series, there has been a factor of solving puzzles by using items called goods. In this game, goods are not bound to a specific character. For example, if there is a sword placed in the level, players can use it to destroy obstacles by swinging the sword. Or by throwing it, players can turn on switches located out of reach. There's also a piece of equipment known as a badge that will modify the percentage increase of the hit points, or how much the power of attacks will go up, or the structure of how a certain special attack gets enforced. These badges can change the character's stats based on the user's preferences. Each of the goods have various uses, so there's a factor in which players have to think about how to clear obstacles. Do they use a good, or do they use jump mode to jump over a collapsing bridge? Such features are closer to an action game than to an RPG, and I think that part is a major difference from previous games in the series. Also, the main character has an ability called Accelerator, which he can use to make his surrounding time slower. By using this ability, he can run across a collapsing bridge while slowing down the destruction of the bridge beneath his feet. So this game has evolved beyond an RPG game, to a point where it can be compared to other action games. Product not yet rated.